Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm going to take us a wee uh, grey uh, fox squirrel nymph. So the hook and device is a Camazon B175 and size 12. The thread that I'm going to use is the unique thread, you know, in red. But you use whatever thread you like. Right, I'm just going to work my thread down the shank of the hook. Until I'm past the point. The tail, this is like a a honey done, it's like a badger. Honey done, it's a lovely hack all this. So I'm just looking a few favours off the stem of the feather. The length of the tail, run about the length of the body, run with the pinching loop. Just take my thread turns down the shank tang and the, the tail. Now the rib, it's just a, a single strand of the Glowbrite Floss number 5. Just peel that on the length. And then just work our thread forward, tying everything in. That point there, and then just work our thread back. In the body is the natural fur by Wapsie. This is the. I'll just show you at the back. Grey squirrel. <coughs> so, just offer this up to the hook. And we'll just spin it on the thread. Great wee fly is for the, the middle dropper. That point there, just take away some of the, the excess fur. Sweep over. Any wee favours want to go forward to the eye, just pull them back. Get a few thread, thread turns in front. Then about four turns of the globe right number five. Catch that in. Now, I'm just going to work this forward, tying in the glue right to the eye of the hook, and then fold it back nice and tight. Come in from away the waist. A thorax cover. This is just some bleached and dyed cock pheasant fibers. So just bring a few out from the stem. Just tear that away. Now, we don't need the the ends. So just clip those away. Offer this up to the hook. Just put it in. And then just tighten down on everything. Right, just come in with my thumb, spread it over the back. I'm just gonna claim up onto the body a touch here. And just have a wee check. Yeah. Instead of then we'll go back to our our wee pinch of our grey squirrel. I'm just gonna build up the thorax. And access with that there. Sweep it back. Just put a couple of thread turns in at the front. Now, I want to put a couple of wee hot cheeks on the fly. So I'm going to use two sunburst goose bats. Now, don't worry about the staff them up on the sides. And with a couple of turns now, to see what way we're sitting. Yeah, I'm not happy with that, so I'm gonna come back. Just bring them up a wee bit further. Catch them in nice and tight. It's a bit better. And a couple of turns. Now it's best to try and rip these away. Just be brave. And then bring over your 
thousand teal. Nice and tight with this fold this back. If there's any wee fibers we want to go forward. It's the grey squirrel. We want to spring out. Just pull those back. Come on. Trim away the waist. And then we'll just come in and throw in a whip finish. Pull the thread tight. Come in, trim away your tent thread. And then we're going to clip the, the goose bats. And I'll just clip them roughly the length of the thorax. Shade and that's the wee grey squirrel nymph. Uh, that's a good wee fly to the fish when buzzers are hatching, particularly the, the grey boy. Come around with a wee drop of super glue, just being ever so careful not to get it into the dubbing. And then I just clean my hook. And then I'll just come in a bit of waste wire. And just clean out the eye. So there you just go guys. That's another crack and wee nymph for you to tie up. I'll let you just get away in the vase. And hopefully you're doing plenty of tan. Get to your face. But a tan at uh, being at the face gives you good you know, keeps you in a good head space as well. So as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. Um just wanted to ask if this is the first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. It's just helping the wee channel grow. And until the next time, take care of yourselves and each other and all being well guys. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.